Okay, today it's a bit different video because it's about video, not still photography. It's the first video about video on this channel. And the reason to this is that I also do in my work video productions. And uh, when this brand, Aster Hori, contacted me and wanted to send this lens, they have not sponsored this video at all, but they sent me this guy. And we will take a look a bit how I did this video I published a few days ago. So this is the completely new Astahori 80mm f8 APS-C lens. Unfortunately I sold my APS-C censored camera, Sony, uh, so I have to use it with my full frame. And then if you do this you will get like a round circle, you know, on the videos. So I need to crop in. So it's actually not 80 millimeter that wide, but you can go that wide on the APS-C sensor. This lens, it's uh, completely new and uh, it has been upgraded from the previous one, the Aster Hori 28 millimeter F13. Probe lens. So this one will give you a much wider shot, you know, and goes from f8 instead of the old one that was f13. But if you want to shoot up to aperture f28, it goes all the way up to 28, you really need to have a lot of light, powerful LEDs to make that shot. So this lens has a two times magnification and the minimal focus distance, it may be not that close, but it's like five millimeter. You can shoot extremely close, that is cool. Also, this part is waterproof, so you can shoot under water or milk. In the front of the lens, you have these LEDs that we can turn on. You can use like a power bank and then you just Connect USB-C to the lens and then we turn it on. You see, it's quite powerful. It's like 10 levels, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, all down to level 1. It is kind of hard to use, I found, because you get these LED cells reflecting in glossy stuff. But I have a ring here somewhere. Did I lose it? The diamond ring. Where is it? In another video I made, I actually it was a member video on this channel. I talked about when I went to a jewelry store in the diamond district in New York City. When you go inside these stores, you see the diamonds just sparkle like crazy. And why is that? Well, if you check under the, the display cabinets or whatever they're called, there is this LED lists with a lot of LED cells, just like this one. And that will make the diamond sparkle like crazy. We can do a test shoot. If I put this on, no, it's too small. I put on the pinky finger and let's turn on this camera. Okay, I took it off this slider to show you this. There is this LED lights and this is lowest power. And then you just up the power here. We can go to full power. And let's put it back on. I'm trying to hold my hand still. You see how it sparkles. And I think for jewelry, it might be good to use this LEDs. I mean, imagine if this was spinning around you know, like when you go in slow motion. So that's one way of using this. I can also mention that you can get this lens for many, many mounts. If you check the links below, I have affiliate link links to Amazon for all the mounting. This is the RF mount, Canon RF mount, but you can find it for, I guess, almost all cameras. That's cool. One thing I noticed when I did this coffee making video is that you should really stabilize this guy with 
like a rail or something and support this guy because it's super super sensitive especially when you're shooting macro i just hit this guy with some cover beans like like that boo, 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 boo. we can take a look what i did with this video this coffee video first of all i took a glass coffee glass the lighting was quite simple it's um, led panel quite powerful on each side turn this guy on and then i just placed diffusion on both sides as close as possible and exactly the same on the other side just like this and a led on the other side that was all the lighting i had on this video and also i had a like a black background behind the coffee machine so let's make a cup of coffee and the first shot i did was when the coffee going into the glass and it was kind of tricky i will show so the first shot i did was this when the coffee goes into the glass the slider was lower of course i had to find the right level and uh, i'm shooting at 50 frames per second so i can slow it down to slow motion and then i just full speed with the slider going super super close and again it was just two diffusion panels with led panels on the side there we are there's the coffee then i did the same thing with the milk and i went for slow motion also in this one then back up with the cup but then i used a, like a black background and i just pour the milk inside you know in slow motion it will look nice in the shot and for the beans shot that was the trickiest part actually because i wanted to film it from the top when the beans are moving around you know so then i took this camera and i put it on a c-stand pointing down and the coffee machine down on the floor and then i moved it down inside so it went like Shh. this video is kind of rough because doing these shots it takes a lot of time rigging stuff up and you need to have the perfect gear really when i do this for clients these video productions i always rent the stuff big big heavy sliders because they're not so expensive to rent for a day when you're doing a film production i always rent everything from lights to gear lenses well now i don't have to i also did a shot i mounted the camera directly on the slider so i could come down as low as possible then i had some beans on the table and then i dropped them and that became quite cool but I should avoid it to hit the lens, I noticed, because... Mm -hmm. You know, this short video took me like a full day to produce, you know. And still it's kind of rough. <laughs> but that's how it is with film. It's um, much harder than still photography. That's my experience. Everything takes a lot longer and everything has to be perfect hard to fix in post you know we don't have ai fill soon maybe we will have it in final cut and premiere we'll see so that's it if you like to check this out it cost around 700 dollars and it can sound a lot for a very niche product but if you compare with the, the other probe lenses like Laova, that's really, really a good price. But you can check it out. I have the links below if you're interested. If you have any questions around this crazy lens, you can put a comment below and I will try to answer. Thanks a lot, Coffee Supporters, the members of this channel and also all the subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. There will be more videos soon but then i guess more 
in steel photography, studio photography, products. And maybe one day we will get to the food photography. Maybe. Maybe one day. So remember, as always, I will see you next time.